But after almost three decades of alcoholism and a well-documented battle to rehabilitate himself, Kenny says that he can't see a future when he isn't actually drinking. That is really sad, Kenny. Um, you know, we saw there the, the setback um, at the weekend, yeah. the pictures of you, and we know you'd been into rehab and you'd been doing quite well. So um, we're very glad you're here this morning. But what's happened? I don't know, really. I just I like drinking. Um, I enjoy it. I think I'm funny. You know, I dance and try and sing songs and, you know, just, it's just something that's in me for a long, long time. And I, I haven't got no idea. I thought I had a good idea because people asked me about football and I said, I know more about drinking than I do about football. Yeah, and I think people had more hope this time, Kenny, because this is all three months after the Jeremy Kyle show. Yeah. And a lot of people would have seen this. They offered to send Kenny on what was termed an intensive rehabilitation unit uh, to one of those. And um, beside Kenny this morning, we also have ex-addict and addiction expert Daniel Gerrard. Daniel, we're going to come to what your approach will be very, very shortly. But Kenny, you know, for a lot of viewers, why did the Kyle approach not work for you? Oh, it's, it's, that's me. You know, I think the people are going to say it's the same old story, Ken. You're feeling sorry for yourself, so you have a drink and all that. But it is me. That is when my you life. say you like drinking, Ken, and, <clears throat> you know, I think I'm fun, I have a laugh when I'm drinking, but then when you look at those pictures of you slumped yeah. in the street, yeah. That can't make you feel good. No, it doesn't. It, I think um, if I try and drink a little bit, I feel a little bit better, and then I get a little bit more drunk, and I, I just want to forget about things. And Do you know think, why you drink? What are you trying to forget? <clears throat> I'm trying to get away from life, because I'm a coward. And... But, you had, but you had a good life, so oh, how did that start? <clears throat> my life is just... I can't explain how great my life it was. You know, someone asked me what, the other day, what do you do for a living? And I said, well, what's your job? I said, I play football. No, what's your job? And I said, that is my job. That's what my job was, playing football. And, you know, I, I'm getting emotional now because I'm getting upset with myself, mm. but I'm not, I don't want people to feel sorry for me. But they do. See, but they do when Kenny, they people the feel they, they know this story already, don't they? They know it with George Best, they know it yeah. with Gaza. But, you know, Whatever Paul Gascoigne done, whatever George Best did, that, that, you know, it's up to them. And you know, I'm not, I'm not proud by a long way to see myself in the. But let me ask you this: you know, you're international level footballer, right? Yeah. You have been up against impossible odds before, and yet with a team, you'd have gone out there and you'd have overturned those odds. You would have had that spirit. What's the difference this time? Why can't you apply your professional brain to something like this? Football was easy for me. You know, I'm not, I'm not being big-headed or anything like that, but football came easy. You know, I used to get wingers who were very quick and I used to beat them and, you know, the, football was just simple. But life, for me, I, that's the thing I'm finding very difficult. And there's a way out of it, is put a drink down your throat and I feel a little bit better. Let's bring myself. Daniel in on this because his perspective here. Daniel, just explain to people what your background is on this and why you would feel uh, qualified to, to do this because you are what is what is called a registered interventioner. Yeah. Interventionist. Yeah. yeah. Explain explain yeah. that to us. So what I do is I help families and I help people get into treatment and I've had my own experience of feeling exactly where Kenny is right now where just the only way out was to drink or use more and and you know we drink and use because we enjoy it. It's nice. Everybody bad, likes to have a drink. How bad was your addiction? Extremely, I mean, I was nearly dead at the end, so, you know, I, I, I know exactly where Ken is at. It's a really painful place, and the only solution that I saw was to do more, you know, but you've just got to find it inside you to try one more time. You've got to just keep trying, because you, you will do it. You've just got to keep trying, you know, and, and because you're probably used to succeeding in your life, you, you know, yeah. I don't... You know, that's your life, you know. It must, be, it must feel really bad to not succeed and feel knocked down. And, you know, when, you, when you're knocked down, you've got to get up again and do it again. But how, do you, how does Ken find the strength to... You're saying, I, I can't see how I do that. How does he find the strength when he's I'm, knocked down? I mean, I said to 
Kenny before we walked on. I said, if he wants to go again, I'll get, take him in my car now, we'll go to another place, get him in, and he tries again. What's the... Just when somebody says rehab to you, Ken, what do you think? Uh, walk out. Well, why, why would you... Why do you think that that wouldn't work for you when it has worked for so many people? I just haven't... I, haven't, I really haven't got any sort of idea what is going to make me happy. And that is the gospel truth. I, I, you know, it's, it's no point in me fibbing and going on television and people think, oh, it's the same old thing. I really haven't got a clue. What about your, your family? You've got three children. Yeah, I've got three What about the thought of your uh, children and grandchildren? Yeah, it hurts. Cause no, it's true, Kenny. Do, you know, even really if you does. do it for your family, you know... Even if I've you got to do it for myself. I, but my, my three kids are just fantastic. I've got pictures up on the wall where I'm staying at the minute, and I've got them on, I look at them every day. But it don't stop me drinking.